So this morning I thought my horse was dead. her belly too? No? Just her leg? What about her chest? Her... No, her chest is in front of her leg. Up. That's just her shoulder kind of. Good job. Her chest? Right here is her chest. This. That's her chest. You can brush there if you want. There you go. Nice girl. She's our big horse. Mm -hmm. Get her all over, all over her legs so that she's clean. Yeah, there you go. No, she won't kick you, honey. She's just licking and chewing. your hand in the glove her hand in the brush she got it backwards but that's okay it still works i went out today to go and check on all the animals i had done morning chores already but i went out later in the day to go check on everybody and the first thing that i saw was my horse was just flat out on the ground in the pasture i honestly thought he was dead so i went to go check on him and he was just laying there and he saw me coming and he kind of perked his head up at me and he looked over and I thought maybe he broke a bone or something was wrong. But then he tried to get up and it was awful. His legs were going all different directions. He was um, borderline doing the splits. He was falling on the ice over and over again. Oh man, it was just terrible. There was nothing I could do to stop him. But I got in there and calmed him down and he just stayed still and I was able to go and get some hay and give him some traction and he was finally able to get up. But I was really worried that he was going to break a leg or something. It was awful. But he's okay now. He got up, he's walking around, he's been walking around for a few hours now. He's eating his evening meal and he seems okay. He's sore, but I'm hoping that we can avoid a vet visit. I'll keep a close eye on him for sure, obviously, but Roscoe seems to be okay. I was really worried about him though um yeah but if you guys have ice in your pasture like i do make sure you do something about it um run a tractor in there break it up i went in there with an axe today and chopped it all by hand which was lame <laughs> it was hard work but i'm glad that the horses hopefully won't slip anymore as long as they take my trail which knowing horses they probably won't but i tried so hopefully that'll help some. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a scary situation having livestock on ice because bad things can happen, obviously. I'm glad he's okay though. So that's what's been going on around here today. You okay, bud? Thank you, boy. It's okay, take it easy. You're all right. Are you okay, bud? You alright? Yeah. 
easy. Easy, 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 bud. Easy, easy now. It's okay. You're okay now, buddy. You're okay. Oh, buddy. Poor guy. He easy now. I put some hay out for him. Easy, easy, easy. Go slow, buddy. Go slow. Goodness sake. Go slow, buddy. Go slow. There you go. I put some hay out for him to get some traction. This ice is no joke, people. Alright, well, I know what I'm going to be doing now. There's not really, like, a good way for them to get to their water. So, I'll have to get an axe out and ship this ice. guys. That's Roscoe. He seems okay now. I'll have to keep an eye on him. If he's really sore still, then I'll probably get like an equine chiropractor to come out and do an adjustment on him. <laughs> Obviously, I'll get a vet out if I need to, but I'm hoping that he'll be fine. Definitely uh, not a fun thing to walk out to. I definitely was expecting the worst. <laughs> Glad you're okay there, buddy. Hey, Roscoe. Horses, man. Always trying to kill themselves. 